guys, welcome to Horse and Round. Today I'm gonna to take you through a really quick little survey. It's freezing cold outside, so I have no desire to go out there right now. And all I'm doing is I wanna walk you through some of the things that we have um, that might be different than some other industries. So I gotta cover up my survey codes. Don't want anybody taking my survey for me. Required by law. What are they gonna do? You know, they're census police? What are they going to come to? If you don't respond, you're likely to receive duplicate copies in the mail, a phone call, possibly even an in-person visit. To answer questions, a person over 18 who refuses or willfully neglects to answer a question which is authorized by the secretary this to be submitted to the person in connection with the census under this section shall be fined no more than $900. We'll get to doing it. This down here, this pasture stuff, is what obviously I'm interested in. How about this question? At any time during 2022, did this operation use precision agriculture practices to manage crops or livestock? Uh, GPS, which is what they use in their tractors um, when they're baling, cutting, planting, fertilizing, and everything which obviously I don't need because I don't do any of those. Um, variable rate, which would be applying your app, uh, fertilizers, spraying, things like that. Drones, I didn't use any of those. Um, electronic tagging, I don't have anything to tag. Precision feeding, and then precision feeding would be for the um, cows that are in, or pigs that are in some sort of a feedlot. And then robotic milking, I thought that was just kind of cool. So you see this big list over here? Where's my, there you go. I have to go through this whole list and answer all these questions. And so there are questions like this, do you have any cattle, blah, 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 pigs. So that's what all this is. During 2022, what types of renewable energy Producing systems run the operation regardless of ownership. Select all that apply. Another thing I'll tell y'all is that we do not use any fertilizer. A lot of these slides have to do with what we're putting in the ground, what chemicals we're using, and then also these, you know, what farm tractors we have, what tracks we have, et cetera, et cetera. I can understand why this is, um, what does it say here? required by law because if it's not required by law I can tell you that most everybody including me would not be answering some of these questions because it seems very intrusive again I can see why farmers don't want to tell people what's going on because this is talking all about the migrant workers and everyone else so here's the thing I mean, it's, it's really, really, it says report total production expenses, include everything. And so, I mean, you're telling them about everything that you have. What other part of life do you have to do this for? Why do I have to tell you my property taxes? Why do I have to, I, I'm really scratching my head to tell you the truth. I mean, why do I have to give them dollar for dollar everything that I have to do if I'm doing any breeding? I don't even know what caponizing is. Carcass removal, castrating. I mean, why do you have to have the total value? I understand if I have to click and say, yes, I need to do this. I'm not trying to go on a freaking rant again, but what? I am thoroughly confused. I, I don't understand what the point of this survey is or this census as they call it. I do understand now why it is required by law 
because if it was not required by law, then I promise you not everyone would fill this sucker out. In fact, I probably there's still going to be a lot of people that won't. They'll just take the knock at the door or the phone calls or whatever that it is. I feel that this is honestly a very intrusive census. Um, I, I don't understand. I keep saying that. So one of the last questions that it asked me was um, to, to list everything that I have and a value. Combines, which I don't have. You know, all the motors, all the tractors, all the cars, um, all the silage equipment that I might have, all the hay equipment that I would have, every single piece of equipment it's asking me to list and give a value for. No wonder this survey was gonna take 50 minutes because it asked a lot of questions um, that people may not have the, the answers to right in front of them. It asked for all of your interest payments that you paid on loans, all the amounts of your loans, I mean everything. It wants to know absolutely everything about your farming operation. And I would challenge you, name me another business that's going to ask for that. If I am a hairdresser, and unless I am being audited for my taxes that I'm filing through being a hairdresser, why does the government, because the USDA is a government uh, entity, why does the government need to know what I have? So if I'm a hairdresser, it's asking me to write down every color that I have, every tube of anything I've ever purchased, all my shampoos, the value of that, the value that I had purchased it with this year, how much of it I've used, if I had insurance, if I filed a claim, um, it's asking me everything. Um, I mean, it's asking me the value of the chair that you're sitting in. It's asking for everything, right? Hair dryers, hairspray, all of it. If I'm in, let's pick, um, like, like storage facilities. Let's just say I'm in a storage facility. It's asking for the value of the building, the value of the land, the interest that you might have, how many employees that you have, um, what the cost of the gravel was or the upkeep is, or if you don't have gravel, if you've got a, a concrete, you know, if you've got asphalt drive, if you got whatever, it's asking for every single lock that you have on every single door. Isn't that what we file our taxes for? Isn't that what you pay your personal property tax on? It asks for all my personal property tax information on everything. It needed me to look up everything that I've paid and all my values that I've paid. I'm so confused. Why? Why? <sighs> Thanks for watching. Again, it's another rant video. Guess what I'm getting ready to do? I'm kind of keyed up, but I'm gonna just go outside, cold or not, and I'm gonna clean me some stalls and I'm gonna fill them up with shavings. I'm not gonna bore you with that because we do that every day. But right now I'm pretty worked up. Thanks for watching again. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, if anybody has any clue why we as farmers um, or ranchers have to fill this out, every single infinitesimal amount of data that we have. I'm confused as to India, any other industry that has to do this. Come up with one and then we'll see what kind of survey that you had.